I'm Vinny and this is another sketchbook tour. Yeah, I'm going to speak in this video as well since it is often preferred. So this sketchbook was from July. Oh, I didn't write the end date. Okay, we don't know the end date. What a lovely surprise. It's a, it's a sketchbook I had before I had have the one that I have now I think um, and it's just like this cardboard paper since I didn't have anything else and I I didn't want to buy a sheep sketchbook again I wanted to have something more nice so I decided to use this one and just like experiment with it and we were going to uh, 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 score on that this the south of Sweden so I was like yeah okay I, I can use this one so Let's get started. The first page. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh yeah. Here we actually have... Oh, <laughs> just a warning. It's going to be a lot of Arcana fan art in this one. Because I think I started playing the game. Like in this, the discussion with this before this one. But I started to really get into it and create my own character and everything like that. Um, when I had this one. So here we actually have my friend Verena. Her apprentice, who <laughs> I forced her to play the game, and well, I forced everyone <laughs> to play that game because I fucking love it. Yeah, and here we just have some outfits that I planned for the trip. I really, really wanted to use a yellow dress, but I couldn't because it was really see through, unfortunately. Yeah, that's that page. Oh, it's a double one. We'll have to look at this. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, I did these these pages later I think like in the end of the sketchbook I went back and did these so every time I turn it it's going to be like a newer one but it doesn't really matter it's just a couple of months really or not really a month I think I had this for a month or something but here's some plans my friend Tintin has a <laughs> I don't know the English word but as of that <laughs> there's a lot of Tintins in this sketchbook and here we have some things from the beach. We went to Bashabekstan. It's, oof, it's really nice. I love it there. Uh, Svartestan is my favorite though, but it was nice being there. Here we have me. <laughs> and here we have my Arcana character. Oh yeah, we also went to Trelleborgen, which is kind of like a uh, ancient. Uh, mansion or not mansion but yeah an ancient building from the viking age and stuff like that so here we have vega my character from the arcana the apprentice she's basically a self-insert but i mean the game is kind of meant or well built up for playing as yourself and this is a girl in my class some more doodles in this sketchbook i doodle a lot with uh, these pens it's the muji pens like ballpoint pens and markers. Uh, these are the pro mark. These are pro markers. But <laughs> uh, the other drawing was also done with pro markers. But these pro markers are not the pro markers that are out on the market today because I inherited my mum's pro markers and she bought them in the 90s. So they're about 30 years old, <laughs> and they're still way better than the rebranding that they got, in my opinion. But yeah, and then some space thingies. Another girl from my class. Oh yeah, here we have some OCs from my uh, world Gerda town, which is a post post <laughs> post post apocalyptic story um, set in Sweden, Malmo, where we actually were when I drew this. So it was nice seeing the city that I'm actually basing the town on, um, because like I I've been there before, that's why I based it on. But really seeing it and really imagining like, oh, what will this look like? In Gharda town. Uh, so that's kind of cool. So here we have the main characters or the main characters. This is Finn, the main, main character. Main character. <laughs> the, the main character. And then uh, Nava, who's also kind of a main character. She's like, you know when it's close to be a main character. Like obviously Harry Potter is the main character in Harry Potter. But Hermione and Ron is, is well, they're really prevalent in the book. <laughs> and then Veronica. And uh, Finn's daughter, Alva. No, I renamed her. Her name is Ville. <laughs> oh my god. And here we have Tintin. And my apprentice again with her familiar. 
Rufus. Rufus is such a dog. I love him and I love lemurs like so much. <laughs> oh, it was so hard for me to give her an apprentice though because I was like, oh, but I don't really want to give her an apprentice since they, she doesn't have one in the game. The, the apprentice doesn't have a familiar in the game. So I was like, oh no, because I really don't like mixing and pestering with the actual storyline. It was like, oh, I really want to draw it. So I did. Uh, I'm just headcanning that he's <laughs> in the shop all the time sleeping. Yeah, and here we have just some random shapes because I bought the Atisa markers, watercolor, uh, watercolor markers, the water-based ink. And I'm sorry if I stammer, by the way. English is not my native language. I say this every time, but I suck at it, and I'm so sorry. I can't even speak properly in Swedish. <laughs> yeah, but here's some blobs that I made and just did something, did two things to try out the markers. I really like them, by the way. Um, and more blobs or more triangles to be honest honestly i love these i feel like it's so fun to just look at them and be like oh shit blobs mm. oh here we have yeah this is a thumbnail that if on uh, an illustration we can see if we can put it up here maybe Ooh, look at that so pretty self-promotion <laughs> Yeah, but that's the thumbnail I did. And here's Rufus again. And here we have Finn <laughs> being a slob. It's part of the story, so I can't really speak about it because I'm not comfortable speaking about it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, being a slob, wasting his life away for three days. <laughs> Something. Ah, here comes our kind of fan art. This was my first try drawing Nadja. I made her look super old, but I mean, they look kind of young in the game for the ages that they actually are. Like Lucio is supposed to be, because I did the math, um, like 35 minimum, absolute minimum is 35. He cannot logically be any less than 35 uh, because he met Asra and Muriel at, uh, when he became Count. and. No, wait. I'm not making any sense. Just not. Let, let's just skip it. He's 35, okay. <laughs> oh, well, he's not 35, but damn it, stop it, Vinny. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, we have Asra here and Nadja and then Vega again, my apprentice. Oh, I don't think I said her name, but it's Vega. Um, yeah. All from memory, so it's a bit, it's a bit uh, wrong and <laughs> not that great. We have more duels of Vega the Apprentice as a Plague Doctor Apprentice. I was thinking how what she looked like then. And then we have Verena's Apprentice together with mine. And some boots. Here we have more some more Gerda Town for my story. So this is Veronica. Um, this is made with the Muji markers and watercolors because I haven't I didn't really use watercolors in the sketchbook and I tried it. And then here's, here's me. <laughs> and here is Vega again in an uh, alternative masquerade outfit. I designed this outfit and I was like, no, I don't really, I don't really like it. Also, these are with the Arteza markers on actual watercolor paper and they perform really well, actually. I really like them. They have like a really nice feel to them. Like they feel exactly like the paper. Like sometimes watercolor can be a bit like I wouldn't say chalky because that's bad quality with watercolor but they definitely you can like feel the difference between the watercolor and the paper but these are ink so they really like just go straight into it but this is a an outfit that I made and I wasn't really happy with it so I decided another one that I'm not really happy with <laughs> either but I mean I'm indecisive so I had canon that this was the masquerade outfit that she would wear in Nadja's route because Nadja actually gives her an outfit like in the, in the Julian route you find outfits that has been sold and you kind of choose from there uh, but this one was crafted by Nadja so I was like oh that would kind of be a nice hint if it was a sari and had a dupata and everything since that's her kind of inspiration heritage and then we have like these silver thingies but they're really hard to see more arcana <laughs> I, I, I'm <laughs> I feel like I need like an arcana pole or something, to be honest. <laughs> it's too much. 
So yeah, here's just a, a quick uh, duo of the, the Julian Ruth thingy when he picks up the outfit because I, th I thought it was really cute, to be honest. Um, yeah. And here we have Hilary again. <laughs> saying she wanted to be a letterer, a looker. In the story, that's the people who venture out of the city to kind of go into the old world and find uh, knickknacks and metal and everything from the old world that can be used, materials and so on. Then we have Sweaty Comic. Because that boy, that Ilya boy, he wears fucking leather... whatever the names are, mittens, <laughs> gloves. He wears leather gloves. And it, it seems to be a warm country. Like, Nadja haven't even seen snow, so I'm like, I, well, how, how does he not die of sweat? How does his hands not drown? And they're pressing him whole hands all the time. I mean, imagine the sweat. Oof. Ah, and here we have some textures, and you put a sponge. That was my speaker. Always. Here we have some textures that I did with a sponge and watercolor. It's really fun. Um, I made it to make this illustration. <laughs> it was really fun making it. So yeah, I love playing around with this. I actually plan on putting these into Photoshop to kind of make my own watercolor textures, but I think they might be too uh, too small. But I wouldn't know. Here we have more thingies. We have the other printers and a very bad portrait of. <laughs> Julian and then my protagonist for my other story Blandos, which basically means like beings around us well supernatural Scandinavian folklore beings around us um Zainab, she's the protagonist there and Halfling and Finn again protagonist in the town this is watercolor testers these are the watercolors I use as Winston Newton watercolor palette um it's four years old <laughs> I've realized or think and the colors are not really super vibrant I don't know if that's because of the age or the quality of the palette but I'm not really sure here we have more doodles these are with the Arteza markers honestly I tried the Arteza markers in my regular sketchbook or what the sketchbook after this one it's a thinner paper and not this kind of cardboard and I actually prefer them in this one funny enough um, I'm not actually sure why. I think they perform kind of better because it's meant. Well, these cardboard things handles watercolor better than the paper I use. It's really thin, so it doesn't really absorb it. And here's, uh, here, oh, here's the thumbnail for the texture thingy. Yeah. Huh. That was not planned. I could have showed it here instead. <laughs> That would have been much better. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, this is, this is the thumbnail that I did for the painting. I actually didn't plan for this to be a painting. I was like, oh well, painting, illustration more of, doodle, I know what to say. Um, but I, I did these and I was like, oh, but maybe I could try out the sponge with this one because it's funny, water, like a water texture. Um, and yeah, and here we have more kind of concepts and thumbnails and planning for that hand thingy. Um, because I really wanted to and I capture this emotion let's see if I can yeah this emotion I am not really happy with how the face turned out in the illustration itself I prefer it here but well you win some you lose some and I'm quite happy with the, the painting anyways here we have the family portrait it's a portrait or portrait or a family picture of Vega and her family because I was working on her backstory and the backstory is basically that she was born not in Vesuvia but in a foreign country um, in the south so a quite cold one um, I wanted to kind of base it on Sweden since I'm from Sweden uh, so yeah she was born into a noble well not noble but pre prestigious family of magicians that served noble people often like offering services fixing things and just like yeah offering services um, and they're quite highly regarded in the upper class society because of this and upper class themselves she on the other hand was a bastard child um, her mother had an affair with one of the servants and she was the result of it and uh, they threw out her father and just kind of like yeah 
you're in this family now because otherwise if they they deny the whole thing that they that she would not that she wasn't related to him to them they denied it since it would be too much of a outrage or well shameful it would just be an embarrassment for the all even though even though it's very obvious that she isn't a part of the family because of her stark white hair and she was treated as an outsider in her family herself which was an embarrassment for her stepfather and an embarrassment for her a mistake all in all um, so when she was 14 she actually ran away stole her mother's jewelry and just ran away and made her way to Vesuvia and met Asra. Ah, here we have the uh, masquerade outfit that I made like off that one. And the thing is, I feel like this one is a bit boring. Like with all the other masquerade outfits, it's very much like detail, outrage, like very Rococo. Um, so I kind of want to make it more of that, but I'm not really sure what to make of it because I was imagining that this is all like glittering but I feel like that's a bit boring <laughs> but we'll see also that orange one scene was just splendid I loved it <laughs> here we have some fish I drew this on a live stream I think I'm not really sure yeah in all this <laughs> I feel like this is just everything I do. Also over the garden world, I hadn't seen him in such a long time. I was like, oh, I don't even remember what they look like. And this is just outrageous. All oh, right, these ones. I'm actually going to show them first in the order. Wait, is this wrong? No, 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 okay. It's better to see in the order. I really like drawing dancers and with that dance scene with Julian uh, I I adored it it was so pretty so I kind of do this I had a reference for it I just passed a video of um, Ginger Rogers and Fred Alster oh what was his name Alster um, in one of the movies on that I could find on YouTube and he said do that so yeah that's them dancing this is just in ballpoint pen like all the sketches that you see like this are just small point pen and then I go over them with the markers so you have that one and then up on the table of course of course you have to I really I'm really I really li like these sketches to be honest they're very very messy but that's kind of what I like about them to be honest and I really want to make like an animatic of them dancing like just a so short sequence of this then this and then finally this um, it's going to be hard, but I really want to make it so I might do it in the autumn holiday or something when I actually have time Because now I have a commission and I have school. So yeah but Let's continue in the Vega again <laughs> It's a bit embarrassing. This whole sketchbook is just the Arcana, 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 Arcana But here we have Vega in uh, Julian's coat <laughs> And the thing is she's up to his shoulder to be honest like in the dancing thing she's wearing heels but here we have her being sneezy. And here we have just a doodle of uh, Finn's wife or ex-wife and his daughter. So yeah. Oh, and here we have a portrait that I did of my friend uh, Min, because I was like, I was like, oh, uh, drawing like one of your French girls, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to do that. And he was like, oh no, I'm really joking. I was like, yeah, fuck you, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. Oof. And here we have um, Fissiba on Tumblr. I did their apprentice character. I love them. They're so adorable. They're like a shapeshifter. So they shape between male and female. And I just adore the design. And this was the masquerade outfit. So I do it. And here we have that scene with the dark St. Julian. Just very messily done. <laughs> like his face. I messed it up so much. But I, I, do I adore like the green the green colors that you get here with the markers and the muji pens because they match so well i'm not really sure where this mark is though like shit but yeah it's them and then we have this this is a speed paint actually uh on here so that could be fun if you're interested in listening more to my annoying voice <laughs> and then we have my two moods 
<laughs> either like very dark and kind of edgy fishnets and stuff like that or very flowy flowy dresses <laughs> honestly i love being able to switch up the style and then my biggest stepfather in the corner here a leaf for some reason and just a uh, duck because I wasn't sure what to draw and <laughs> I draw very silly stuff when I'm just like no I'm just gonna uh, if I don't really feel like it I just draw stuff like this and more dancing <laughs> have you can you tell I love <laughs> drawing people who dance yeah so yeah this is Finn again dancing he's a excellent swing dancer Charlatan is actually inspired by the 20s and the years around that era, kind of. Um, so there's a lot of jazzy and swing and Charleston incorporated in the fashion and lifestyle of the characters in the town. It's a mix of um, Arabic and Swedish... <laughs> yeah, and here we had me in some kind of outfit and Finn, and I don't really remember what I was talking about. Charlotte Town, yes, it's inspired by uh, swing and 20s and blah, 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 but more outrageous, more colourful. Oh, well, the twins was quite colourful, but you know what I mean. And then Arabic and Swedish culture. Uh, so yeah, there we have that. Here we have more masquerade outfits. <laughs> Just me dueling it again. I think I actually designed it here, but I'm not really sure. And Rufus looking sneezy. And then uh, the height difference that I was talking about. Yeah. And here, no, this one's the one I was thinking of. I did this in a live stream on Instagram. And whew, this is my Instagram if you're interested in watching live streams and watching my content. <laughs> Because I only post sketchbook tours here. I might, might post speed poll. <laughs> Can't speak. I might poll, post speed paint someday, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, here we have um, an Austrian traditional dress. But I don't remember the name. Julian. Verena's character. Boo. Some fishes. And yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm not really sure what to say, but Vega again <laughs> um, with just different outfits because I was thinking that since she lives with Astra and that they don't seem to have that much money, she probably has just like two shirts and two pants or something like that. So I was trying to kind of uh, make different outfits just out of those. I kind of want to do a line of how her fashion changes like throughout the story because I kind of want to think that she first when she woke up she must look like a lot like Astra in the way he dresses as you can see like here and here um, because she he is the only influence that she has and the only memory that she has really um, and all the culture that she remembers is the Vesuvian culture um, but where she actually comes from, the fashion is quite different. It's a lot of like 18, no, uh, 16th century Sweden and uh, Rococo and stuff like that. Um, uh, so yeah, I kind of want to incorporate that together with this. So it, it kind of like, it begins in a very Vesuvian sense. And then when she remembers uh, more and more and the story progresses like during the masquerade, uh, it kind of changes into a more, yeah, a, a, a more whatever the country's name <laughs> that I haven't decided is, fashion-ish. So I kind of want to redesign her masquerade outfit to kind of fit that maybe, but I'm not sure because that was actually, you know, bought. But we'll see if they actually, if the story ends in the masquerade or outside, but she does remember a bit more after it, so I might, might incorporate it. Like, I'd love to do, like, an outfit for each, each book, kind of, that would be fun. And here we have me sitting and waiting in the park for my sister when she had da dance practice. So, I just drew this in the ballpoint pen and with then the pro marker I did some 
color and shading. The, pers the perspective is off, but I don't really care. <laughs> um, so this is what I saw. And some chickens and some faces. Yeah. And then the last one is an outfit I created for a competition uh, by Son Carl on uh, Instagram. And this is her OC Daphne, which I love. She was so fun to draw. And that... Oh yeah, and this pretty little thing. <laughs> My sister had the wackiest dream ever about <laughs> polar bears swimming like in the ocean. But they looked like this, but they were polar bears. It was crazy. And yeah, that was the whole sketchbook. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching. Bye.